you so much for coming to see us. Thank you for making the trip. You, you both live in New York City, which is, of, of course, a very, very public city, a place where people are out and about. You are both very famous. Do you get lots of hassle? Do fans approach you on the streets, or is it easy to stay incognito? Well, Mariska, I mean, that's got to be totally... I mean, that's an, a complete impossibility. I mean, New York claimed you as their own. Oh, he did. That's been beautiful. Most of New York. Except for the time last week when I was <laughs> come out of the gym. I forgot my bag. I was super late. I was in heels. I thought my the restaurant, I was meeting a friend for lunch, and I thought the restaurant was a block away. And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, my God, my feet hurt so bad. <laughs> so I think, I can't, I can't walk these four blocks to the restaurant. I realized I didn't have my phone. I was going to call an Uber. I have, I have no purse, nothing. Finally, the cabs are all, they're passing me by, and I'm going like this, going. <sighs> <laughs> and they're like this, and this guy rolls down the window. He's like, can I help you? And I go, hi. I know this is crazy. Is there any way you could give me a ride just three blocks anyway? And he's like, I said, I don't have any money. I'm really sorry. I was going to call an Uber. It's a long story. He goes, OK. And I go, oh, thank you so much. That is so nice. Listen, um, I, 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 do you know who I am? I just want you to know that I'm good for the money. I'm, I'm going to pay you. And if you could give me your phone number. And he goes, it's not that big a deal. And I said, no, no, please, give me your phone number. I, I want to I I pay you. And he's like, lady, it's fine. I said, you know, I'm on TV. And he goes, OK. Um, <laughs> Tell me where you want to go. I said, well, it's just down a couple blocks on the right. I said, please, just will you give me your address, your phone number? He's like, lady, I'm married. Easy. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God. This is so... Ow. He didn't claim me as his own. <laughs> no. And so yeah. I just want to say... He claimed his wife. No, he yeah. told his crazy lady to try to get in the car and hit on me. So I just want to thank Tamir from Egypt. Tamir. 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 I really am on a TV show. It's been on forever. <laughs> he was like, you are the crazy lady. I mean, Holly, for you, you must... Can you, can you go incognito if you pull down a hat and put on a scarf, but until you speak, because yes. the second anybody <laughs> hears your voice, it's like, oh, it couldn't be anyone else. Do you find that? Yeah, I mean, if I want to remain, like, anonymous, I just, I, you know, I never say a word. Um, oh, really? You go completely mute? Yes, I just don't talk. Um, and then I can kind of fly under the radar. Have you ever thought about any kind of accents? Have you had any kind of accents where you could just be like, Oh, hello, how are you? <laughs> how, <laughs> how are you doing we? today, Cup Lassie? Of coffee? Yeah. <laughs> and they'd be like, wow, Mrs. Doubtfire's here. Um, <laughs> but is this right? You could do that. Is this right, Holly? When you first moved to New York, you spent a night sleeping in the park. <laughs> right. Which sounds very dangerous. Yeah. What happened? Uh, really? Well, I mean, when I when I first moved there, I was I had this roommate, um, and she was going through Est. Um, I don't know if anybody, but Est was kind of like a mind control, uh, kind of a <laughs> cultish. <laughs> Do you know what Est is? Yeah, Little yeah. Chop kind of thing where you know, like it, you couldn't speak until spoken to. You couldn't wear a watch. You, while you were at S, you couldn't go to the bathroom. All these kind of wild things. And my roommate was doing this, this mind control kind of workshop. We call thing. that a cult back home. That's all. <laughs> we cult. call it. I feel like we're being very polite. It sounds yeah. like a cult. It was very cultish. Yeah. So, and she just went, Holly. I, I need the space. I need the apartment to myself. You can't be here. And so, you know, so I, I had to leave. And I, I didn't have anywhere to go um, because I just moved to New York. I didn't really know anybody. So I, it was 1980, and I spent the night in Riverside Park. I mean, your, your, so years, your years as a detective, Mariska, would they help you spending a night in a park? Do well, you think you could? Oh, no, I could do it. First of all, I'd have all of NYPD to protect me. But I will say this. If I brought my badge, I, I'd be golden. Really? Yeah. <laughs> would you? Oh, you yeah. Think, yeah. I would scare people, do, like, Olivia Benson badass face. I could do it. What? You've seen it. What are you going? Give us that badass face. You're in the park. There's a guy comes along. You're feeling suspicious. What do you do? Can I help you? Wow. Can I help you? What did you say? I didn't, I didn't say I didn't hear you. I didn't you want to step a little closer, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. Okay. Okay. That's what I thought you said. So, you know what the truth is? 
<laughs> James, you know what the truth is? Is I'm such a chicken in real life. <laughs> and I'd be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I know. One time I had a you cap. say that, but I am going to do the rest of the show from over here. <laughs> it does feel safer. I mean, Mariska made those heels look tough. I know. Oh, thank you, Holly. I'm very proud of it. <laughs>